Hey guys, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again for episode 3 of Consignment Shop Treasures. So I've decided to make the head and make this a series because you guys like the first two so much. And I have changed their name to what the series will be called Consignment Shop Treasures. The name was kind of based off Jill Olivier, but whatever. So, um, we have a little bit of a smaller haul this time, but it's still a good one. So let's dive right in and take a look at the first item. So the first item is a Trackmaster, or no, Tommy Clarabelle. Uh, it has no back coupling, and it's a little bit longer than a normal Clarabelle because it actually goes with the Real Steam Thomas, which I actually found at the same shop a few months ago. And so now I had the Clarabelle to go with it because there's a special Clarabelle that's the same size as the Annie, so now I finally have it. Pretty cool model, and I do enjoy it. On to the next one. So, um, next up, I have Take and Play Billy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I, I kind of wanted this. It's actually a pretty nice model, and it's in pretty good condition. And no, I'm not really a fan of Billy, for those of you guys who are wondering. But overall, overall, it's a pretty good model. model. The green, the dark green and bright orange, um, contrast nicely with each other. So, I kind of give it a pass. Next up is a Take and Play Airy, because I have Bert... Here's the funny thing. I had Airy for years. Then I got Bert. But then when I got Bert, I I Air, I lost Airy, and so now that I have a new Airy. I lost Bert. So yeah, it's pretty funny. But yeah, I'm hoping to get another Bert soon. So here's Take and Play Airy. I'm not sure if this is a color changing model or not. I haven't tested it yet, but it does look a lot like one. So yeah, it looks like the Airy's oily mess pack. But there you go. Next up, we have um, Take and Play Toby. Um, yeah, not much to say here. He was bundled with Billy, and I didn't really need a Toby. But yeah, I got him anyway, and he does look pretty cool. So, next up, we have a Wooden Railway Porter. New inbox. Uh, I actually got this for less than $5, which is a really good steal. Um, the reason I got this porter is because if you guys look at my old one, you can definitely see the edge wear. So this is why I got a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I've already made a review on this porter, so I don't plan um, on doing a review on this one. But I may. I may in the future. I'm not sure. What I love about these models is that they have the easy open tabs. Unfortunately, they stopped making those the next year. So yeah, and he's also from Spills and Thrills, which is actually a pretty good DVD in my opinion. So let's open them right up. Again, love those easy open tabs. Okay. Uh, first impressions. He's really slick looking, I'll tell you that. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, here's the face. There's the old face. And I'm not replacing this porter. I just wanted to get this one because of its um, good paintwork. So, overall, they're both pretty cool. Not bad model. Not a bad model at all. So, yeah. I guess these two are going to go and drive away. So, the last two items on our list are Wind Up, Diesel Town, and Skarloe. These are from, like, Japan, I think. And um, in episode one of this series, I actually found Lady, Percy, and Duncan. Which I don't have with me right now. But um, I have two more to add to my collection. So, here they are. Um, one thing I like about Diesel 10 is that his pinchy actually moves all the way up and down, and his claw does open and close, which is a really nice feature. This Diesel 10 also has a pretty nice face and buffer detailing. I'd say this is the best wind-up model I had so far. I also have Skarloey, who has a broken-off funnel, which is kind of a shame, but other than that, it's still pretty good. A nice face and very nice details. So... That's pretty much it for this episode of Consignment Shop Treasures. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Maximum 15 and 16 signing out.